Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Mini Tools' new program called Shadow Maker. It's the all in one tool to protect your data from system crashes, hard drive failures, viruses, and more. You can create a beatable media to restore your PC to health when the system will not boot. It supports Windows 7, 8, and 10. It works with FAT, FAT32, NTFS, and extended FAT versions 1 through 4 file systems. It also works with hard drives, solid state drives, USB external drives, hardware RAID systems, net, uh, network attached storage, and home file servers. Now there are three versions. The free version provides the basic necessities to backup and restore files, disks, and the system. You can sync files to backup when they change. You can also clone basic and dynamic disks with the simple volume format. The pro and ultimate versions provide additional features. You can manage remote PCs, backup on events, change backup schemes, support secure socket layer encryption as well as change the data encryption method. You can back up using the command line. You can boot from a network. It supports universal restore. And while you're in Windows pre-installation environment, you can also back up and sync data as well as manage the backups. You can view logs, even use the command shell. The pro version is licensed for up to one PC. And the ultimate version is licensed for up to three PCs. Now, the program itself works really well. I've been using it for a few days now, and I've been using it for different functions to see how the program works. Uh, this includes backing up my data and also restoring the data, testing to see how well it performs these tasks. Now, I will be having some other videos to show you how to use all the functions on the program. As you can see, this is the Mini Tool Shadow Maker Pro Ultimate version 3.2. It's very simple to use. Uh, right now, it shows the screen here, which it just gives you the option to go to the manual or to go to the management. Um, over here, you have the manual uh, icon. So, if you're needing help with anything with the program, you can click here, and this will bring up the manual. Um, you could go to backup. Here you select your source of the backup. You're going to select where it's going to go and where it's going to be stored. You can also schedule on the frequency of how often it's going to uh, back up. You can choose the scheme. Uh, the scheme allows you to choose full uh, if you want an incremental or if you want differential, which I will go into detail uh, later on in the upcoming videos. Uh, you also have options where you can choose and decide how this backup is going to function and um, other options that you can do to verify that the backup did successfully complete. I will go through all these functions. Uh, you can also sync files. Uh, if there's certain folders, like for many of you, you have documents, uh, you can set this up to backup those documents automatically for you. Now, you just select the folder that you want to back up, and then you select the destination where that backup is going to be stored. And you do have the same options. You can schedule how often this is done. Uh, you can also do the options and determine how you want this to be completed. And again, I will go through all the functions here and show you how to use it. Uh, the restore function, as you can see here, this shows all the current backups that you have. Uh, it shows what was backed up in this folder or in this image, and it also shows the last time that it was backed up. Over here is the management, and this one comes in handy because this helps you control uh, and manage all your backups that you have created. Now, it also shows you uh, everything that's in it, uh, the last time it was backed up, and over here on the right, you also have a choice as to what you want to do. If you want to back up now, or if you need to uh, 
if you want to browse what's inside the image, uh, if you need to restore it, uh, you, it will also let you mount it to where it will load the image and then you can access everything within that image. Uh, it'll be just like opening File Explorer. Uh, if you need to change something in the scheme, uh, again, this is like uh, the Pro and Ultimate versions. Uh, it also lets you verify the backup, make sure everything in the backup is intact. Uh, if you no longer need the backup, then this will allow you to delete it. You can edit the schedule. Uh, if you're not sure where the backup is located, you can click here, locate image, and it will show you where it's at. Uh, it also has logs, and what this will do is keep track of any backups that it's performed. And this will tell you uh, the time it started, the time it ended, uh, when the backup was created. Um, it also show you how much time it took for that backup to complete and whether or not the backup was successful or if there was any kind of problems. Uh, under your tools, uh, you'll have the Media Builder, which comes in handy. Uh, this allows you to create a CD or a USB flash disk. So in the event that your computer crashes and it won't boot, then you can use one of these items to boot up, boot up your computer and be able to do restore or any kind of repairs. Now, this is a new feature that I have not seen before. Um, I've used other backup utility programs, which I have done videos for in the past. This one is a newer one. Uh, this one here, what it does is it allows you to create a boot up menu. Uh, when you first turn your computer on, for some computers, you'll see an option where it says load Windows 10 or use a recovery uh, environment, you know, something like that. Um, what this will do is add the mini tool shadow maker to that boot menu. So whenever the computer boots up, you can either choose to load Windows 10 or you can load into mini tools shadow makers uh, Windows pre-installation environment which saves you a lot of trouble from having to create a media disk. This here can automatically be added to it. So as soon as you turn your computer on, you can immediately select Windows 10 or you can select Shadow Maker. Here you can also mount an image. Uh, this allows you to mount it just like as if it's a disk drive. And then you can explore and interact with the volume as it's mounted. When you're done with it, you simply just dismount it. This also gives you the option to clone a disk. Uh, if you have uh, two drives that you want to clone it, like say you're wanting to clone your system drive to upgrade it to a bigger one or a solid state drive, this option will allow you to do that. Uh, the PXE, uh, this is the program used for uh, Pro and Ultimate versions, uh, this allows you to manage uh, remote computers. Um, and what it does is it allows you to connect to other computers on your network, whether it's a desktop or a laptop, and it will allow it to back up those computers without you having to do that. And I will show you how to use these functions. Now, if you have any questions or any problems, you can also use the feedback. Uh, this will contact them. It gives you their email address that you can use. Uh, it also allows you to create any kind of report. So if there are problems that you're having, error messages, so forth, this will generate a report for them to review, and then they can help you resolve those problems. Uh, up here, uh, you have this uh, menu here. Uh, you can change your language, which is English, German, and Japanese. Uh, you also have the help, which also brings up the uh, web page to uh, get you started and show you how to use the different functions. Uh, the about allows you to tell you what version you have and that it's licensed. Uh, the update will check for any kind of new updates that may be present. Uh, right now this is the newest one that they have out right now. It just came out. Uh, this one here is a high DPI scaling. This allows the uh, the program to adjust according to the scaling set on your windows. Now as you can see it's fairly simple uh, there's nothing difficult about this. Um, I will be coming up with some new videos to show you how to use all the features on this program. I will have all the information 
uh, in a video description on how you can get your copy of this. And uh, if you want to, you can just get the free one, which provides all the basic functions. Uh, if you need more flexibility, then I would recommend either getting the Pro or the Ultimate, depending on how many PCs you need to use it on. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.